The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. Man, I opened the door, all kind of little batteries and like dust and shit come falling out. I'm like, what the hell is this? I go to look at the line, I'm in this nasty carpet. You got lotion in here. You can tell it was a female, some old rain boots, nasty like piss bottles in the bucket. Like, bro, it is, she was filthy. She was filthy. I don't know who, because they had a pink or uh, iPad holder back there on the top bunk. But that man, I, so when I opened that curtain back there, I said, good Lord. Whoever been sleeping with this chick, they need to go to the health department immediately. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Today's episode is sponsored by The Ridge Wallet. More on them later. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for listening. And in this episode, we're going to talk to my guy, Anonymous, my man, the recovery driver for Controversial Company. He was in my side of town up in Cleveland, Ohio. He's there to recover a truck and trailer that was abandoned by a female driver that was left at the hotel that they was probably staying in. You guys might want to know what might have been the reasons that she could have up and left the truck for a couple of weeks. Well, it could be a number of driver issues, allegedly. But in this conversation that I'm about to have with my guy, he's telling me that he's there to pick up the truck, how the truck looked like. It's both truck and trailer that he's going to take over to another yard. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hear the music. We, we don't need no introductions or anything like that, my guy. So wait, you in my neck of the woods. You sent me a, a video of a truck yep. that you're recovering for a controversial company. So where's the truck at? Hold on. Damn, that's terrible. God, me. This is what it looks like. Piss bottles everywhere. They were nasty. This truck definitely needs to be clean. Uh, the truck's over here, what's that, uh, Oak Brook over here in Ohio on the west side. It's right in the motel parking lot. It's been sitting here, they say, for weeks. I guess uh, a lady had it. She abandoned it. You know, I don't pick up abandoned trucks, but I just got to bring it to the yard. My truck is in the yard with a load on it that's been rejected. I'm bringing that back to Chicago, and I may have to swap this trailer. Okay, okay. So, so the truck been sitting there for weeks on end at the travel lodge. I know where that travel lodge is yep. at. You on you on Brook Park. You over there on 140. Yep. yep Man, yep, you in 140. You in the hood part of the West Side, bro. That that travel lodge. I know. Yeah. It's a hole in the wall. Yeah, it's a hole in the wall. It's a little pickup spot. I'm I'm surprised. Yep. I'm I'm surprised somebody didn't come out there and knock on your door and be like, yeah, you want some commercial company? Oh hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. We ain't we ain't in business for that. Oh, man, <laughs> so wait, so so they sent so you you had a load that you had to bring back to the to the yard, but while you was at the yard, one of the I guess one of the recovery team people called you up and said, Hey, we got one in Ohio. Why don't we send you up there right quick and 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 yep. bring it back for us? That's how it went. Yep, they did. I'm just bringing it to the yard over uh, they, they got a drop yard and um on the east side off Lake, right off ninety. What? So I parked my truck over there. I'm gonna just bring the truck over there. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, controversial company got a drop yard here in Cleveland? Well, I ain't gonna say it's a legit drop yard, but one of they uh one of they foreign counterparts owns the yard. They're a tow company. Oh, okay. and they, they let them bring you know trucks over there. So hell yeah. How many trucks is over in, in the drop yard so far? Uh, they had like four of them over there. Cause somebody was getting to you know they send them guys to get them trucks. So they probably, they got some new guys, I think, coming to get them. So I just had to back my truck in, and hop in the Uber and ride over here and grab the truck and just move. You don't have to go into detail of how much you're getting paid, but ballpark of what they offered you to, to go pick up the truck. Oh, they, they number like 300 bucks. That's all they, they paying to just go grab, it, go grab it and move from one side of town to the other. Whoever was, had it quit. They just cleaned it out and left it sitting over there. Was that, was that 
was that 300 negotiable or was that 300 like what they what they said? I thought I need a few money. I said, well, y'all gonna, I told him y'all gonna give me some few money. Shit, I'll take, I'll take a couple hundred bucks. All right, we give you $300. I said, cool. Damn, you didn't. Well, I go get it, get called an Uber. You 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 didn't chalk it up to, uh, to, to get a little bit more? Say like, yo, I'll do it for five. Looking for the perfect wallet? Meet the Ridge Wallet. With thousands of colors and styles, there's a ridge for everyone. It is designed for everyday use, keeping your essentials organized without the bulk. Whether you prefer the classic look or the bold look, you'll find a Ridge wallet that fits your style. Crafted with durable materials, the Ridge wallet is built to last with its FRID blocking technology, ensures your cards are safe, making it the perfect on-the-go lifestyle. Upgrade from your dad wallet to your new everyday carry. Discover the perfect match at RidgeWallet.com. Embrace your style, functionality, and security. And don't forget, when you head over to the RidgeWallet.com to make your first order, make sure you use my promo code YouTube10. With that, you would get 10% off your first Ridge Wallet. Thank you, Ridge Wallet, for sponsoring today's episode. Because, you know, I don't work for them. I'm a, I'm, I'm a guy that lease on with a guy that deal with them. So, right. yeah, we just, I ain't got no notes or nothing to pay. Now, if I had some notes and bills, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to have to give me more than that. That's just real shit. You're going to have to give me more than that. God damn, Anonymous. So you so you hopped in. You, you went over there to the Travel Lodge. What's the LLC for this particular truck? Uh, this one here got Ego on it, but it's got, what is this on the side of that damn Rocky? Yeah, Rocket. This one got Rocket. Oh, Rocket. International. Rocket. So, yep. So, it, so it's a truck and trailer that's parked in the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They just, the girl, they said the woman there, I guess she quit. They called me. They said we had a lady that left out a couple of weeks ago. They said, damn, some weeks ago. And uh, they said, yeah, if you don't mind, we have a yard where you can park in East Cleveland. We just need you to go uh, retrieve the truck. Just bring it back to that yard. We'll have someone come get the load. So I already got a load that somebody dumped off and abandoned going back into Chicago, New York. Are you just dropping the truck and trailer and your your truck is already at the yard ready for yeah, you to yeah. jump back in? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. It all, cause I told them they need to send somebody to clean it because if they send somebody to come get this truck, this truck's filthy. Can't nobody be in this truck, man. Okay, so describe can... describe, the, this, describe what you're seeing in the truck when you got in it. Man, I opened the door, all kind of little batteries and, like, dust and shit come falling out. All I'm right. like, what the hell is this? I go to look at the line, I see this nasty carpet. You got lotion in here. You can tell it was a female, some old rain boots, nasty, like, piss bottles in the bucket. Like, bro, it is, she was filthy. She was filthy. I don't know who, because they had a pink or uh, iPad holder back there on the top bunk. But that man, I, so when I opened that curtain back there, I said, good Lord. Whoever been sleeping with this chick, they need to go to the health department immediately. <laughs> she's nasty. <laughs> she's nasty. God. So you say some hanky panky might be man. going on in that in in that truck, man. Damn right. You got gloves on, mask on. You... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got my stuff on. When I get out, I'm gonna wipe my jeans off, and you know, right. I'm going to haul ass. Right. I'm going to haul ass. I'm get my truck and I'm going on to the shop. I got to be out there by tomorrow. They got to, I'm going to deliver the load, get paid and deliver it. Wow. You know how I go, go grab another trailer and hit the road. Well, me and you haven't talked in a little bit, but you, you've you been following the channel and a little bit of the drama that's been going on with me. I don't know if these are like troll people or people that's associated with a controversial company, man. But I, I made a video just recently about the text messaging that I had with, with somebody. I don't know who it is. But let me ask you, in your opinion, because a few YouTubers that has been affected by controversial company coming after them so they can take their content about the company down. They reached out asking them to actually come out to... We call it the Death Star. <laughs> the Death Star. <laughs> and come out there and, and talk to talk to their leader, Papatine. <laughs> like the map. All of them. 
get me. I would now. What, what's your thoughts about that, man? What do you think? Should we all should we all band together and and, and go out there and see what they talking about, or what, what, what? We we should stay away from the Death Star, should we? I would stay away, me personally. Like I say, the guy I least with that deal with him, you know, he about ready to cut ties with him because they didn't fuck up. Excuse my language and messed with his MC number and heightened and you know then jacked up the insurance. They done done a lot of weird, you know, stuff, stuff that you would you would think that you know somebody would do mm-hmm. but due to the fact that these people over here on the SAP program they only here part time or whatever they don't give a damn trying to do what they can as far as trying to get us to take some of our content down but again as I explained the views is the guests this is all your uh, experiences with the company it ain't my fault that you that you treated them bad and they wanted to come out and share the experience I'll admit there is some successes over there you just don't hear much of it but again the last few people that I talked to I'm like this if if you probably would have treated them better maybe they wouldn't do what they did like this young lady right here whoever she is y'all must have did something to her for her to abandon the truck had to with a load on it it still got the damn load on it with a load it's with a load it's, it still got a load on it man it's got a seal on the trail and everything and i don't know what's back there feel like it's kind of heavy because i don't drive automatics i'm gonna stick but you can feel it though you can, you can feel the weight of it ain't got some weight on it wow man with a load on it so it's it's it was that bad that she yep. left he dropped the trailer with a load and left the truck and trailer at the at the hotel where she was probably staying at for that period of time. That's probably what it was. That might have been what it was. She might have got a room and probably got a flight out of here. That, you know that you know she played it smart. She's like, well, you know what? I'm gonna just ask her what it stays. But I fly up out of here. The truck squeaking and everything. Whew. Well, anonymous, another one. Bite the dust. Another hey. one, man. And another one. Yeah, you got to show the community the video, man. You look at the inside. Man. They going to send somebody to recover. That's the sad part. They're not going to clean it. I told them, man, it need to be clean. Oh, don't worry about it. Just park it in the yard. So they going to send somebody out there to recover the truck and try to make that delivery for them. Yeah. Yeah, they, and they going to tell them, don't worry. Uh, we pay for clean or whatever. You just take load. Deliver live load. Like, like, I might try to come back and get the trailer or another. Or somebody else might try to come get the load and grab it. But even if they say they pay for cleaning, don't don't that still come out of your out of your cut? Ain't it a thousand dollars allegedly? A thousand dollars for for heard. them to send somebody to recover a truck, and then out of that thousand dollars is the money that you yeah. have to pay to get the truck clean allegedly. Hold on. What's going on, guys? I just want to stop the video right here, right quick. If you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing, go ahead and hit that like button for me, bro. Hit that like button. It's free. It's free. If you made it this far into the video, man, make sure you hit that like button. It's right up under the video, man. And if you guys like more content like this, consider, okay? Y'all got two options. Well, one, but two options. You can either subscribe for the channel for more. And if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early, make sure you join. Join the channel, all right? Shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man. Thank you very much. Now let's get back to the show. Yeah, from what I heard, that's what they do. That's what they do from what I heard. They'll, they'll send them the money or pay for it to get clean and take it out of their check or whatever. That's the fact. Wow. It's not even their fault. You coming to get the truck. It's messed up and you going to pay for it in the end. Like, what? Wow. Probably might be the person that they sending out there to actually get in the truck after they made off with the paperwork and everything. What kind of truck is it? Yep. What kind of truck is it? Uh, it's a 2021, the international. International. Automatic. International automatic automatic 2020. Yeah, yeah. Some somebody they're gonna send some Joe Schmo out there. They're gonna think they're getting a good deal. They're gonna come out there, yep. recover the truck, pay for the cleaning, and and take over take take over that truck afterwards. Yep. Wash and recycle. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Where's the repeat? Man, that that's that is crazy. Well, anonymous man, as always, thank you for providing information about the controversial company. Listen, whoever's listening over at Controversial Company, we're as you can see, I have drivers, I have former drivers, I have drivers with experience with you guys that reach out and provide content for the channel. It's not like every video is negative. It's just unfortunate that these people have some unfortunate situations with you guys and they want to share their stories. So if you don't want them to share their stories, then I would suggest to you, okay? I would suggest to you to try to treat them a little bit better so that your truck and trailer won't be abandoned. Your truck won't be stripped. Your driver won't be pissed. Oh, as long as you treat them with a little bit more dignity, then maybe you'll see a turnaround. I'm just saying, y'all can still do what y'all do, how y'all do it. And if you guys wanna go over to Controversial Company, feel free, feel free to go over there. Maybe you will be successful. If And if so, come back over here and let us know. And I would definitely share the story. My guy, I do appreciate it. And you take it easy until next time, everybody.